today I'm going to show you how I make steak. So I'm going to start with equal parts olive oil and red wine vinegar. Maybe a little more vinegar. This is going to form the base of a marinade. Then I'm going to add some salt and pepper and Italian seasoning and submerge the steaks. Here's what that looks like. I'm going to marinate these steaks for a minimum of an hour. Uh, sometimes I do an hour and a half just covered on the kitchen counter before we pop it into the cast iron with some ghee and a little bit of garlic. Okay, I am melting some ghee in my cast iron along with a little olive oil. Getting that nice and cooked down and we're going to add in our two marinated steaks. Once the pan gets hot, which it's not quite, I always kind of hold my hand like here feeling a little heat, not quite enough, uh, but once we get our steak in, we're going to add some garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper, and some fresh thyme, and we're going to cook our steaks, they're half a pound, so three to four minutes each side. We're going to give them the, the hand test, so kind of touching them, you want them to feel like the flesh right below your thumb, right there, if you're holding your pinky and your thumb together. I don't know where I got that, but it works. So right about there for mid rare. If you want your steak well done, you're going to be down on your wrist and further up the more rare you want it. All right. A little bit more time. When we put the steak in, we want to hear a nice sizzle. That means we're going to get a good sear on it. And since we're cooking over medium heat, you really want to make sure that pan's hot before you put your steak in. Now when you lay your steak in the pan, you're going to want to make sure that you lay it away from yourself. So I'm going to grab one. And there's that sizzle. Here comes my other steak. Lay it away from myself. Alright, I'm going to add some salt and pepper and some garlic and thyme. Alright, our steaks have been in the pan about three minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and get under there. Give them, I'm having a hard time getting a grip of my tongue, and give it a nice flip. Oh my gosh, look at that color. I'm also going to push it against the side of the pan a little bit. Pull it down here to do that. So that the side of the pan can help render more of that fat. Put a couple of those sprigs of thyme on top. And some of that garlic. Come over here and do the same with this one. Oh, much more of that same beautiful color. Get some thyme and some garlic on there. And then what I'm going to do is just cook. I'm going to bake with some of this uh, butter and the oil going on in the pan there. And when they're done, we'll put them over here to rest. And then I'm going to dump some broccoli into the pan, which we're going to cook for a bit, and then we're going to fry a couple eggs. All right, our steak is out and resting. So now into the cast iron, I'm going to dump some broccoli. Oh, there we go.
I also poured in a little bit of water. To help get that steam going. So that our broccoli will steam as it sautés. When it softens up a little bit, ooh, it's already picking up that bond. Awesome. Um, after it softens up a little bit, then we'll go ahead and crack in a couple eggs. The eggs are in. Um, I'm really bad at flipping eggs. I'm working on it. But as they cook, um, I'm going to season them with a little salt and pepper. And then go ahead and give them a flip. And then we'll be ready to assemble our dish. All right, here it is, steak and eggs with broccoli. If you'd like to see more recipes, please remember to like and subscribe. And if there's something paleo you'd like to see me try, then please leave a message in the comments.